There are three free ways to back up WhatsApp or WhatsApp business data on iPhone that I will introduce in this video. One, back up to iCloud. Two, back up with iTunes Mac. Three, back up to computer via iTransfer for WhatsApp. We all know that the official way of backing up WhatsApp on iPhone is through iCloud. To turn on the iCloud backup, you should first enable WhatsApp backup to iCloud in the phone settings, otherwise the backup might fail. After that, open WhatsApp, go to Settings, Chats, and click on Chat Backup. Here you can set up the backup frequency to enable automatic backup to iCloud, and set the backup to include videos or not. Backing up WhatsApp to iCloud will take up storage space. You will have to pay monthly if the data you are backing up to iCloud reaches 5 gigabytes. iTunes is another way to fully back up iOS devices. If you are using Mac Catalina or later, the backup function is in the Finder. To back up WhatsApp with iTunes, first launch iTunes on your computer and connect your device to it. Click on the device icon on the top menu. In the summary, you will see the backup section. Just click on Backup Now to start backing up your device to the computer. When you want to restore the iTunes backup to your device, just click on the Restore Backup button beside the Backup button. WhatsApp data increases over time, so we have to keep paying monthly to iCloud. If we change to iTunes, there are still some shortcomings. For example, you won't be able to selectively restore the WhatsApp backup to your device, nor read the backup on your computer. So the third method I recommend to you guys is to back up WhatsApp to your computer so you don't need to pay for storage space. You can read the backup on the computer anytime, and the backup can be restored to any other device, not only iOS devices, but also Android. After you install the program, just open it and choose the backup function from the tabs on the left. Connect your iOS device to the computer. Click Backup, choose the WhatsApp type, and the program will do the rest. Once it is done, you can view the backup by clicking the Restore and Export WhatsApp Backup tab. Choose the backup you want to view, then click on the Export to Computer button. After the scan, you will be able to see the chat history as real chats on your phone. We have finished all the three methods. I would recommend the third tool, but you should know that when you need to restore the WhatsApp backup to your device, you need to purchase a license from the official site. The backup and preview functions are free, so you can make backups first and purchase the license when you need to restore the backup. That's it! Before you leave, leave us a comment to tell us which tool you will choose to back up your WhatsApp messages. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell to get immediate updates on more videos about WhatsApp.